back on this video tutorial about extending Streamlight usage. So we've seen, uh, in this article, we've seen how to use SQLite, which is a very common and what, one of the most popular database that can be a replacement to MySQL and also help you to work out CSV. Combined with Streamlight, it can create great uh, application. That's exactly what I've tried to do. I mean, I've used country, but uh, you can use quote, whatever. And uh, the use case was, I, the idea was to use a web application very quickly to jot a web application to manage uh, element. And so here is, uh, so we're still in the good directory. You see, so we've seen all these files and we're gonna focus this time on the app and the DB wrapper, wrapper. Okay, so I've made a little cleanup inside my diff file, which is the guidelines of this video. So let's do and open the two. So first of all, uh, I've used a kind of wrapper, which is uh, included here, is called here, which is, which is calling all the function on all the database. Uh, basically, I'm not gonna create a table and create the index because I will already have it from the previous video, and I just, I'm just i just going through some of the application, and I will show you how does it work. As you see, it's very easy uh, to, especially to create a navigation. So let's do a wrap thing, wrap, here we go. So you have home, view country, add country, search, and manage country. So first of all, we're gonna go through this one which is Manage Country, which enables you to delete. And you will see we were loading, we, we have this function, which is called View All Countries, that correspond to that, and that correspond to this query. Okay, you see, so from country. So I should see all these elements, and I will be able to delete one of them, and then I will use the application to recreate it. So basically, what is interesting is that all the crude operation it doesn't, I mean, writing down this stuff took me maybe one or two hours, not much, and it's very obvious, so let's go for it. And what is interesting is that, let's launch it. So if you launch with Python, uh, sorry, Python, uh, stuff like that, it won't work, okay? You need to type Streamlight first, okay? Stream and light and then run app, okay? So let's do it. So I don't, here I'm in SPLite, here I'm in the correct, and I'm gonna run the stuff. So it's gonna open locally and launch the, um, the brother, which is in my case, this is Chrome, okay? And I can check directly this, application. So you see is uh, it's pretty ugly, but it doesn't matter. So this home page first lists all the countries that are inside. You see you have view country, okay, you select one, or you select for instance, let's say Peru. Okay, we're gonna delete this one. And then you can add a country. We will add another country and I would maybe focus on that. But first of all, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, you have a search also on name or in capital, which which means that you are searching on this field, okay, capital, and then also on name, which is country. Okay, I think I have, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for, is the name and then capital, which is our text, okay? This is not performing, but still, it's very easy to create. And then manage country. So manage country, as I say, is loading inside the database, loading the whole database into a data frame, okay? And then show ID, I can put ID ha and name ha and we load, run, you see ID ha, name ha, so I'm just interacting, just to show you that I'm interacting with the stuff. Okay, we run, which is perfect because you can you can work on your you can work on your application and see directly what is happening. So for say I will say I will delete Peru. I select Peru and I delete it. You see, deleted Peru, and this is the warning message. You see, so now I I'm and if I say 
which is basically, I see there are no more Peru that will be 11, okay? And I'm gonna add it. So I'm, I'm really, really, really lazy. So I will go in the readme and I think I have the information about Peru right here. So I would say Peru, okay? And then, and then, so you see that's that's pretty easy if you have to uh, to to manage whatever and it's if it's not you. Um, oops, yeah, I had it and I had it and then if I go back and search for instance and Peru, Peru, I would get. Yeah, Peru, capital, okay? If I search on um, Lima, oops, sorry, Lima, maybe it's uh, sensible to the, can I search it? Yeah, no, it doesn't work because I don't have in my function uh, search by name. I think I should, I should say like, okay? Mm, I think uh, the search, the search, search it here yeah, and it's looking for couple and you can even modify it uh, uh, yeah find it oh sorry I made a mistake that's this one I want okay and then I will see and I will comment it and to make it available if I remember well, I think I can, oh, sorry, I can use all capital like. Okay. You see? And if I do lemma, I will say, okay, put it in catalog. Yeah, so it's not working. You see, uh, inconsistent uh, uh, using notation. What happened? I don't know. It's just like I think I have to remove that. Uh, yeah. Use not to switch off. Hmm, that's here. Sorry. That's why I'm using, you see, right here, it's going to work. Yeah. And then you can say search, and then lemma, and it's working. And if I type lemma, it's working too. And if I type lemma, Okay, so I have changed very quickly this element. A but, 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 I will say, come back to the previous one. You don't have to even to restart. Okay, and then it won't work anymore. If I refresh, I say search, I look for lemma in the capital. And it's working like this, but if I type lemma, it won't work. And if I type lemma in magical in capital, sorry, it won't work too. Okay, so you see, it's very easy to create a kind of concept uh, of any crude application that you may need. I don't know if it's interesting for you, but for me, I guess there's a lot of um, always. I always I have to think and to manage some element and to present to some developers or to, to, to a team marketing to, the pro, to another product owner, I have to present some stuff. Uh, and basically that was one of the conclusion of my article is that you can first it's a, a use SQLite as a, to manage bigger amount, but also you can, you can use directly Streamlight as a wireframe I'm very fond of wireframing, Balsamy, Comigrapho, Axer, and stuff like that. But 
right away you can still using uh, and presenting what you have in mind uh, and also use this application to manage and to automate to kind of work and then I will present maybe in the third video some experiment that I've made on NLP and Streamlight. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like my videos. If you like it, you can find the call also in the YouTube account. See you. Bye-bye.